Good morning. I have with me today Brian Gleason, Chief Revenue Officer at Criteo. I'm Brian, thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Brian, firstly, uh, you know, in today's ecosystem with marketers looking to leverage uh, platforms, how can uh, marketers unlock and op optimize the value of the commerce media ecosystem? I think the most important thing when thinking about commerce media is what is the customer journey? And that's really what these D to C marketers are thinking about, which is what is the appropriate medium to be able to interact with clients? And if that's first and foremost for those clients, um, that's paramount. So for us at Critio, our ambition is to create a commerce media ecosystem, meaning connect buyers to the supply side and allow them to activate media, measure, and um, engage with clients where and whenever they may be on that journey. Uh, you know, the D2C space in India has seen an exponential growth in the last five years. As D2C brands and smaller brands get onto platforms and they look to build scale, how can commerce media drive customer lifetime value growth? I think the most important thing about India, and it's a market that I've always been fascinated with, um, when I think of India, I always think mobile first, and I think innovation and just scale in terms of the size of the population. But for it, it creates this unique environment when we think about D to C in terms of how to engage, where to engage. Um, but there's been a lot of innovation for us in terms of um, the, what I'm seeing from my view looking in your mobile environments. We were just chatting a few minutes ago about thinking about mobility first, thinking about the way that you're um, cashless in many ways to be able to, you know, no use of cash, mostly credit card, mostly on your mobile phone. I think for, if I was a DTC brand, the whole idea in that environment is engagement, number one. So what is the right content? Where are people spending their time? Number two, what I think is customer experience, am I making it easier for them to purchase my products? And the third is probably discovery, which is how do I engage in the discovery process, meaning where's the most appropriate place to be able to find the consumer that's most appropriate for me? Uh, can you just elaborate on the discovery and the uh, customer experience uh, journey a little bit further? Sure, so I can tell you about, for Critio, for example, we, you know, when we think about the discovery process, for most, somebody's on the page, right? So they're on the page, whether it's a retailer's website, a search, a display ad, they're going to see something about you know, that brand in that process. The other's in the store. So if someone's in a store, sometimes we see a um, promotion, a coupon. We see an end cap, meaning we see advertising in the store, digital screen. The third is, what is it when the last mile, so someone's delivering, how does that actually work? And then the fourth is, if I just think about um, branding or upper funnel tactics, if I'm watching a video, if I am watching TV or television, how do I see an ad in that environment as well? The connectivity between each one of those environments is so critical because as a consumer, we're not always in the transactional mode. Sometimes we're sitting back again, thinking about a video or whatnot. How we interact with, with our consumers along that life cycle is incredibly important. Uh, can you just tell me, how, give, uh, give a sense of how big the, the commerce media is globally and your take and where do you see it in five years and what opportunity India can take from here? Sure. So this is the exciting part. When, I, when you hear the numbers for commerce media, the first number I had heard was a year ago, and I think it was a $40 billion opportunity. Then most recently I heard a $130 billion opportunity. So globally, again, you think about the commerce specifically around, around Asia, whether it's Alibaba, Coupang, uh, Flipkart, Amazon, others, significant. But I, I think right now, what I'm, what the most recent figures we're hearing, and I think it was from Group M was saying 130, 132 billion globally. How that moves over the next five years, I think we're going to see significant growth every year because commerce media, again, it's the ability to, for these retailers to be able to change uh, or evolve their businesses to become media companies in many ways. For consumers, it's enhancing our experience along that journey, but um, massive potential ahead. I think the follow-up question was, what do we see in India around that? Flipkart's been a great client of ours. 
Um, and India is unique, again, because of the mobility and the um, ability to use mobile phones all often. Our mobile phone is a connective um, to any moment to be able to transact. As long as it's in our hand, if you and I were chatting right now and we said something, I can buy it immediately. So um, I think we're just at the beginning to be able to figure out where India evolves with that. But I think mobile transaction is where I really see a lot moving to. And I also think the interaction between my mobile phone and the retail store is going to be next. So for Critium or a commerce media company, we see um, retailers building out these media opportunities. Um, and I think, again, for India, massive opportunity ahead. I like the line that you said, retailers can now be a media company and every company is always looking to shore up their revenue. So specifically looking at retail media, can you tell us a little bit more how can they leverage this to kind of ramp up a new revenue stream? Sure. So I'll, I'll reference it. Uh, if you think of Walmart, um, a U.S. company, it was, the only reason I mentioned that is the significance of scale that their CEO recently mentioned. He said in five years from now, they will make more margin from their retail media business than they will from the sale of the goods in their store. That's significant, you know, in terms of the scale of that, which means essentially they are a media company rather than a retailer or a combination of the two. So when I think about um, the importance of this, Amazon set the foundation. If you think about Amazon, they own Twitch. They own, they own NFL rights, cricket rights, I believe, in India as well. Um, so I think there's this evolution that's taking place. Not every retailer will go on that journey. Everyone's in a different maturity cycle. And I think for the most part, retailers, the ones that I see doing incredibly well, are thinking about how do they enhance that consumer experience? Where do they um, show up at the appropriate time to be able to make it easier to transact with them? As a market, uh, what's the strategy for Critio for India? We've got a fantastic team in India. So India is important for us for two reasons. One is we do a tremendous amount of our development, our engineering work in India. We made an investment two years ago and continue to do that. Just the talent that we have in market is fantastic. So for Critio, again, a innovation hub is where we'll continue to move to. For India as a market, you see some of the most advanced brands. So again, our Flipkart relationship we're incredibly proud of. I think we'll continue to enhance that. But more so, if I think about the different geographies in India, how do we expand that footprint, begin to move and bring not just certain markets, but all of India into the retail uh, media, but not only retail media, but commerce media landscape. Finally, what are the trends that you believe uh, you see emerging, which uh, CMOs and brands should look at? I would say there's three, you know, coming off of this past week, um, uh, artificial intelligence has been something that's been talked about quite a bit at different panels. And I think that'll continue to evolve, whether that's machine learning, whether it's generative AI. I think that's something that everybody has to think is, how is technology um, enabling my business? The second one specifically to commerce or, or commerce media is measurement. Yeah. As we go offsite, which means the way that we interact is either on a retailer's site, but also on the open web. How do we measure the effectiveness of that? I think there has to be standardization, uh, standardization as that moves forward. And I think the last one um, is the inter interoperability, which means is it a video ad, a mobile ad, a circular in the physical store? Um, how are retailers bringing these things to life? So how are they using each of the customer interactions to enhance that experience? And I think that's significant, which ties back to that number one, uh, AI, and number two, to measurement. So they're all interconnected. Seamless integration is the way to yes. go. Well said. Well yes. said. Thank you so much, Brian, for your time. Great. Thank you.